Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's look is on this full beat down right here with a spotlight eye. So if you want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. So as you can see, I have a few little breakouts. So the Glean by Melanie Mills um, will help blur out any imperfections on the skin. So that should help with that. And then in with my foundation and the Makeup Forever HD Stick. So this gives really good coverage, which I'm all about. Um, I'm just blending that in with a brush. This is a Morphe brush, there's no name on it. But I'm just blending the product in and then I'm gonna press it in then with a damp beauty sponge. This is from Morphe as well. Just to help get as much coverage as possible. Now concealer, again, Shape Tape is the best ever. So I'm going in with that. Uh, underneath the eyes, giving that a nice highlighted effect. Um, and then we're gonna do the lips, chin and nose as usual. And just put a little bit um, on my forehead as well. And with the same beauty sponge, just pressing that in. Just to give us that nice full coverage. Just to add extra dewiness, these are the custom um, cover effects drops. This is the color Sunlight. These are absolutely amazing if you love dewy skin. So what I do is I'll pop it along the cheekbones up around the temple. And then with the remainder that's on the sponge, I will just blend it everywhere else. So you can see that nice soft dewy effect you get with it. So I'm all about that. Um, okay, just gonna set underneath the eyes. This is the Laura Mercier Brightening Powder. So just a small bit underneath the eyes. And with the Morphe 35D palette, um, I'm going into the crease with a big fluffy brush. And then I like to get a bigger fluffy brush with no product on it, just to buff that out even more so it's nice and flawless. And with this middle color right here, I'm using a smaller brush, this is a 217 from MAC. And I'm going right into the crease, just to build up that definition. And again with the fluffy brush, blending that out. And the same color again, I'm just going into the inner and outer corner just to deepen that just a little bit more. It's always easier to add color bit by bit than adding a big chunk of color. And now with the black, I'm using this just on the outer corner and the inner corner. This is gonna help the color that I put on the center pop that a little bit more. And this brush is the 217 that I used on the last color. And again, fluffy brush, blend it out. Now with this color right here, I'm just gonna press this on the lid. So you just wanna put this in the center of the lid. And that kind of what gives you the spotlight eye. And I'm using a little bit of mixing medium on top and the color again. This just helps intensify the color. And again, blending those colors out. Now into the waterline, I'm using Makeup Geek Obsidian. And I'm going right into the waterline and then right into the lash line. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat because you're gonna blend it out with a little brush now. This is just a small definer brush. Just blending that out. And then I'm using the colors that I use in the crease just to blend that out a little bit more. So the first brush I used was the 217 and now I'm using the bigger fluffy brush just to blend it out even more. And just for a little bit more extra, this is a Lit Cosmetics Champagne Whispers Glitter. Just for, you know, an extra little bit of pop. And in the inner corner I'm just using some Thunderstruck from Cafe on D. Giving our lashes a coat of mascara. This is the Tartius Lash Paint from Tarte. And a 
as always, finishing it off with some lashes. These are Lily lashes. And I forget what one they are. I will leave it in the description box below. Go check them out. And that's our eye look finished. Now back to the face, we're just gonna bronze up the face as usual. This is Seattle London um, and the colour is Palm Island. And now to contour, I'm using the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I'm just going right in underneath the cheekbones to carve them bad boys out. Moon face, no more. Little bit of blush, this is Makeup Geek's Romance. Just buffing that lightly on the apples of the cheeks. This has a nice frosty finish, so it's gonna give you that nice subtle glow to your skin as well. But obviously, I'm gonna add more highlight. So this is Champagne Pop. I'm legit obsessed with this lately. Can't get enough of it. So as always, cheekbones, nose, lips, everywhere. It's so amazing. And this is a Sigma fan brush. I just want to carve out my cheekbones a little bit more and the fact that for some reason these areas here is where my makeup wears off throughout the day so this helps my makeup stay on longer. Now to finish off this look we are going to go in with some liquid lipstick. This is from Too Faced and the colour is called Child Star. It's a gorgeous nude. And then just dusting the powder off with a large fluffy brush. This is the finished look, full glam. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, as always, please give it a thumbs up and leave some comments below. And again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.